All right, guys, I'm coming in here with these uh, bass hooks from Jay Stocker. It's the hook that, uh, that I like, but you can use any hook that's similar. So I'll give credit to Kelly Gallup for the streamer pattern. If you're a streamer fisherman, you don't know Kelly Gallup, look him up on YouTube, Google him. He's, he's got some great patterns. This is one of his patterns called the Peanut Envy. And I decided to tie this fly and a brown trout color scheme. So I've got yellow is the primary color, brown over the back, got ice dub copper for the body. So it's gonna look like a baby brown trout when it's all done. So I'm coming in here with some ice dub. I just uh, rub it straight on the thread and dub it on. I don't do a dubbing loop on this fly. I just don't think you need to. Basically will look the same and dubbing it straight on is less time. So that's what I decided to do. Wrap up the slopping feather. I like to tie it in by the tip and then wrap it up. When you wrap it, tie it in by the tip, you can use the, nat the uh, natural taper to the feather to tape your fly as well. The uh, feather is skinnier at the tip than it is down at the uh, butt section of the feather. So when you tie it in by the tip, it's thinner at the back and thicker at the front is what you want. That's what a bait fish looks like. Come with some rubber legs. So when I when I tie in these rubber legs, I do a figure eight X wrap around the legs so that they stand out in 90 degrees. Another thing I like to do on these flies is I, I pre-select uh, all of the materials before I start tying. So with that marabou plume, I, I picked out the three marabou plumes before I started tying the fly. And I want them to get progressively bigger as the fly goes forward. So the tail is the smallest, the overwing on the back hook is a little bit bigger, and then the overwing on the front hook is going to be biggest. Coming here with an articulation, I just uh, am using some wire that I found at the craft store. I don't really think it matters a whole lot what type of wire you use. Uh, I've never had one of these flies come apart at the articulation. I always make sure I double back the wire uh, when I tie these in and when I do that I haven't had any problems with these you know breaking. So to cover up the um, section the articulation I'm using the marabou type feathers from the uh, butt part of the stem on uh, one of those yellow slopping feathers. I was talking about uh, pre-selecting the marabou earlier. I also pre-selected these uh, two slopping feathers that I was using. So I picked two feathers and I made sure that the feather in the front was um, definitely significantly, noticeably larger than the one I used in the back. So that way I can get that taper on what thicker at the front than at the back. Um, the reason taper is so important is because the silhouette of a bait fish it's going to be fatter at the head than it is at the tail, and also it affects the swimming motion. So when you have more bulk at the front, you're going to have more friction when you pull it through the water. So if you have more friction at the front than at the back, that means that the front of the fly slows down faster than the butt section of the fly. So then you get a nice uh, kicking motion, and you get a, you know, a little bit of a um, side kick from that back hook articulating around the front because it wants to move faster than that front hook but it can't so it'll move off to the side a little bit which gives you a real nice swimming action like i said earlier coming in with a very thick stack of marabou for the front so when i tie off this marabou i kind of like to twist it up so that it becomes a thin, thinner rope. It's just easier to trim it out like that than if you just leave it all um, you know, spread out. It just congregates it so you can snip it off easily with your scissors. So now right here at the head is where I do deviate from Kelly Gallup's pattern just a little bit. His original pattern calls for just uh, you dubbing the ice dub that I use for the body to uh, cover up that gap between uh, just behind the cone. I'm coming in with a little bit of uh, laser dub because it's a little bit bulkier. Um, and the reason I do that is because I want the head to be bulky. I just think it gives a better silhouette, a better, uh, uh, what do I call it, better profile than if I just use the ice dub because the ice dub is not very bulky. So then, whenever you use laser dub, you got to pick it out and comb it so that it 
lays right, and that's the finished fly. So go out and use this baby brown trout pattern and go catch a giant brown trout. See you guys next time.